Good afternoon beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Chantel and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing two of the five um, beauty boxes from Beauty Bay. Um, beauty Bay have launched these limited edition boxes. I believe there's five of them. There's the skincare box, the is it self care box, um, the hall of fame block box party box and hair care if i've missed anything i do apologize i'll definitely link all of them down below and they range from 30 pounds all the way up to 60 pounds i believe so the two boxes i have is the party box which i picked up for 40 pounds and then we have the hall of fame box which was an early birthday gift for me and i believe this cost 60 pounds um so yeah i'm gonna unbox them both now i'm gonna start off with the party obsessed box and if i go onto the website because i can't remember all the details this box like i said costs 40 pounds and it's worth 131 pounds and 61 pence sliding off the sleeve it comes in this red box and it's really nice um, it's got the magnetic clasp like the pretty little thing box and to give you a sneak peek it looks like this and i'm smelling something really minty i don't know what that is so let's just dive straight in shall we the first thing i'm seeing is this midnight palette which i don't believe i have this one i think i only have the 42 pound palette um i didn't see the need to pick up the half palette but now i have it right it's yeah the midnight palette I did, have I given one of these away yet? Or maybe it's in my box of goodies that I could give away. I can't remember because I brought a load of Beauty Bay palettes. Some of the nine pans, some of the 16 pans, and some of the, I think two or two or three of the 42 pans, right, to do different various giveaways. So I have been giving away a palette a month. I can't remember if I've given this one away yet or not. Um, but anyway this is the 16 pan and it looks like this because we have so many products in the box i do believe there's 18 items in each box i'm not going to have time to swatch otherwise we're going to be here all day but i just wanted to show you the color story next up in the box we have this really small iso clean um, brush cleaner this is the brush cleaner isn't it yeah makeup brush cleaner and um i absolutely love this as a brush cleaner so i'm going to just add this to the other two bottles that i have um yeah never say no so i'm happy about that the next thing we have is this florence by mills zero chill makeup setting spray oh i've never tried anything by this brand but i've heard good things about this brand and i think that this brand is rather expensive don't quote me on that because i have no idea but yeah is this like a um the blue flash protection it doesn't actually say if it's a matte setting spray or if it's a hydrating spray so yeah i'll have to check that out but let's see what the spray is like oh just has like a fresh smell doesn't smell bad right so moving on to the next thing we have um a sponge a makeup sponge and this is from dusty rose yeah dusty rose is 100 percent vegan and cruelty free which is always a plus but yeah welcome back maybe this is maybe this is yeah this is the mint that i'm smelling this is the spotlight oral care toothpaste for whitening teeth love that i love a whitening toothpaste all right majority of the toothpaste that i use is always whitening so yeah i welcome that i've never heard of the brand or maybe i have but just not really taken much notice of it suitable for whitening teeth resolving stains and maintaining whitening is it actually closed or is it leaked i think it is closed. no it's lit it's sealed so it literally just smells really minty that's a strong scent <laughs> it's really strong right so moving on 
we have this Dr. Pawpaw Tinted True Coral Balm. I have so many of these. We get these a lot in the beauty subscription boxes. So I definitely will probably just keep this in the packaging and put it into one of the giveaways coming up. We have the Nourishing Oil. We got this in the Beauty Bay Mystery Box and I don't use it. So it's distressing and conditioning skin hemp and rose hip oil so again i'll probably just put this into the giveaway box it is sealed as you can see so i'm not going to open it. next up we have the beauty bay lipstick is this a lipstick it's a lip gloss and i don't know what's happened to the box there it looks like it's the toothpaste but the toothpaste hasn't leaked so i don't know i don't know what that is i don't know what it is on the box but yeah this is a lip gloss as in, and it's in the color fizz and it's a plumping lip gloss. Oh, I hate plumping glosses, but here we go. This is what it looks like. So I most probably will just pass this on as well. I do up a lot of like Christmas gift baskets, guys, um, with loads of different makeup products or skincare products or um, different, different things. But um, stay tuned because at the beginning of next month, I'm putting it together as we speak. I'm going to do a ultimate gift guide for him and an ultimate gift guide for her for Christmas. I haven't made up my mind yet how many products in each ultimate gift guide that I'm going to do. I'm aiming for like 15. It may be 10 for men and maybe 15 to 20 for women. So stay tuned for that video. I'm putting it together as we speak. Um, yeah, so the next thing in the box is this Nude Sticks Citrus Clean Balm and Makeup Melt clean balm and makeup melt orange apple and rose hip it looks like this oh and it's sealed so i'm not going to open it but i don't own anything from nude sticks guys and i've always wanted to try something from the brand maybe a lipstick or but yeah i'm happy about that so now i get to try it. at least um a makeup cleaner it is makeup yeah, makeup melt. So it's just like um, a facial cl cleanser to melt your makeup off. Next up, we have this Paint Lab Pussycat Eye Stickers. Uh, I don't think I'll be using these, but, you know, I may just do it for some fun. You know, have a little bit of fun with makeup one day. And then this is a DIY mask base. Re recipes of my for your imagination i have no idea what this is create the mask of your dreams with a hint of imagination number one imagine a perfect mask handmade with the finest fresh ingredients two mix preferred natural ingredients with a teaspoon oh it's a whole kit in there it comes with like little sachets and stuff so you make your own facial mask that is cool i've never seen anything like that before this seems like a lot of fun i've never actually seen anything like this before right so i definitely will give it a go i don't really use eye masks and, and facial masks and all that but this seems like a lot of fun right so i'm gonna give this a go all right i'm happy about that right the next thing we have is this revolution watermelon hydrate imprinted sheet mask this box is quite fat it's just one that you get in there it just says my watermelon sheet mask is the ultimate first quencher for the skin refreshing af and unquestionably juicy i think you only get one in there oh no three it actually says it there <laughs> um such a dum dum yeah so you get three of them in there next up we have this revolution extreme lash mascara looks like that and it's in black so that's always good I won't open it up, it's all sealed. I won't open it up because as you guys probably already know, I have so many of them open. Next we have, I think it's Glisten Cosmetics, the wet liner, and this is in the shade Cola. All right, which I always wanted to click these. I don't know if it's a really dark brown or if it's black, because Cola is normally brown, so I don't know why they would name a black Cola. So I'm thinking that it's really a dark brown. I could be wrong um it looks black so who knows <laughs> right so yeah i'm i'm loving that because i've been trying to collect these wet liners um so that for all the different like line work that i could do with the eyes so yeah i'm happy that i've got that next up we have sunday rain body scrub it's mango and coconut oh that's gonna smell so good oh it's sealed but you know i'm gonna open this because i definitely will use this let's have a smell right guys i've opened it 
that smells so good look at the consistency of it but because it's a body scrub i don't want to put my fingers in there oh that smells really good you can definitely smell the mango you can't really smell the coconut right the mango overpowers it but yeah that's really nice next up we have this urban decay vegan plant powered volumizing mascara and it's a vegan formula that's that's really good 99 percent naturally derived formula it's got coconut sunflower avocado cassava um colza minerals and grains in it that's really good i've never seen um a mascara like this before but look at that I look forward to trying that out. Drop a comment down below if you've used any of these products, guys. All right, next up we have this shimmer bronzer from Soda. All right, I always feel funny about them putting complexion products in boxes, guys. I really do. And I've just destroyed the box, which means then I'm definitely keeping this. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yes, it's a shimmer bronzer, but I'm sure we can use this as a highlighter. And that just looks stunning. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I could definitely use it as a highlighter. Look, that is so pretty. All right, I'm happy with that. Last but not least in this box, we have a six-piece eye brush set. All right, and you know how I feel about my brushes, guys. So, yeah, I'm loving that. Let's open this up. Oh, and it comes in a roll. Look at that. Right, guys, look at this. That is really nice. I like that. I'm not going to get them all out individually. I don't know if you can see because of the glare. But look at them brushes there. They're all so pretty. <gasps> oh, I love that. I love that. Right, guys, so just to recap um, what came in the party box, we've got the brush set. We've got the mascara, we've got the body scrub, we've got the um, shimmer bronzer, which I'm going to use as a highlighter. We've got the three pack of masks, watermelon masks. We've got the make your own mask. We've got the eye stickers. We have the makeup melt off, yeah, makeup melt off um, cleanser. Right, we have some whitening toothpaste. We have the nourishing oil. We have the um, sponge, the mascara, the plumping lip gloss, the makeup spray, the um, water liner, the Dr. Pawpaw um, gloss, the IsoClean mascara, right? and the midnight beauty bay eyeshadow palette oh my gosh guys this box is stuffed for 40 pounds i think it was definitely worth it there are some really good brands in there some brands that i haven't tried before also some products i've never tried and i can't wait to try them all right please drop your comments down below what you thought of this party box and whether or not um you've picked up any of these limited edition boxes if so which ones you have picked up right so now moving on to the hall of fame box like i said before it cost 60 pounds but it's worth 228 pounds and 65 pence and it's got the same kind of star designs the same to and from um because it's supposed to be like a gift box so it's come in the same kind of red box and here is a little sneak peek can't see much so jumping straight in the first thing i'm seeing is this beauty bay bag which i love it's a drawstring bag i love these kinds of bags i store all different types of things in it um yeah so i think i may actually store like my loose wax melts in this bag the next thing in the box is this sigma brush cleansing pad um and what you do is once you've soaked up your brushes um you just rub it on all the various different um bits on the pad right and that gives your brush a deep clean they've also added in a brush cleanser and a small little brush there next up we have this ultimate buffing cloth and it says that this hygienic cloth exfoliates rough dull skin in even the most hard to reach areas perfectly sized for scrubbing the back the ultimate buffing cloth keeps the skin super smooth made from extra durable nylon fiber that rinses cleans dries okay so you can use this all over your body 
and it is rough guys it is rough it's this kind of material it's like a scouring material um, next up we have this flat top contour co2 spectrum brush and then we also have the beauty bay buttercup cleansing balm i didn't even know that beauty bay did their own cleansing balm as well and it's it has oat lapid lipid and chamomile in it let's open this up oh it comes with like a muslin cloth let's have a smell Oh, very posh. Beauty Bay have their thing. Um, Emma Hardy does that with hers. Well, that smells nice, actually. That doesn't smell too bad. I want to give this a go. Could you imagine if I love this? I wouldn't use the Emma Hardy one anymore because I'm sure this is more affordable than the Emma Hardy one. But yeah, if you've used this, then please drop a comment down below and let me know how you got on with this. We have the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Marshmallow Sponge. This was a whole trend, wasn't it? I have the mini ones, but not like a big size one. So yeah, I love that. Can't wait to use it. It's really soft and bouncy. It looks like this. I can't remember whether or not I showed you. Next up, we have this LH Cosmetics Sharpener. All right, you can never have too many sharpeners, but I think this one's slightly different. This is for them pencils that have like um they're sharpenable but it's like they've got that hard plastic around it because when you open it up and have a look and take it out if you look in there you can't really see the sharpener but it's there unless it's something that you pull in i don't think this is something you could take out so it's inbuilt like that which tells me that it's for them fine ones that has like the plastic on the end i don't even have one to hands that i can show you um but yeah i've I need one of these because the the regular sharpeners don't work. And then you have this part that you pull in and out just to clean the actual sharpener. And then you have your case. You also have your case as well to um, keep the sharpenings tucked away until you're ready to empty it. So I like that. Next up, we have this Brushworks Makeup Re Remover Cloth. I don't really use the cloths. I have so many of them. I just have to be honest. I don't really use them. Maybe I should start, but I don't. I just kind of um, use a cleansing gel. I pull it, dab it on like there, 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 and there, and I rub it all in just to melt all the makeup off. And then I go in um, and rinse. And then after I've done that, right, I go in with my normal cleanser, which will be the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. And I do that twice just to make sure I've got everything off. And then I'm done. So I don't really use this. Next thing we have is the Beauty Bay hair oil, which is good. I didn't even know that Beauty Bay did a hair oil. I know that they have an edit like this for hair care, but I didn't know that Beauty Bay did hair stuff. It says hair oil, nourish plus fiber repair, hyaluronic acid and castor oil. Now, I love castor oil. I love castor oil. I have this bottle that I mix all different types of oils for my hair. I put jojoba oil in it, coconut oil, castor oil. Um, there is one more oil that I put in there. But the castor oil I put in is the Jamaican black castor oil. It's not the normal. It's the thick, thicker one. There is one more that I put in there that's not coming to my mind. I've got the bottle. It's in the bathroom. I can't bother to get it now but yeah I, I do a little concoction of my own oils and then I have it in like a sh squeezy tube and then I just go along like I try to coat the the roots of my hair with it so yeah I I do I will try this out I will definitely try this out look at that Let's smell this Uh, unless it's sealed there's not much of a smell there at all so yeah that's good so the next thing we have is oh my gosh i think this is the only thing in this box that i probably won't use and this is the Too faced lip injection extreme all right this is the extreme one i don't use plumping glosses because i they freak me out they scare me and i've heard horror stories about the Too faced extreme ones Right, so yeah, I probably won't use this, guys. Really, I'm keeping it honest. I, I'm not going to use this at all. I don't want this coming 
anywhere near my lips next up is an exciting one we have the anastasia beverly hills lash brag mascara and this is the full size i had this in a mini um but yeah full size that looks absolutely stunning yes all right i'm happy about this <laughs> i'm happy right, next up we have the made by mitchell blush in peach sugar and it looks like this it's just a liquid blusher look at that that is a lovely color all right i never went in for these light colored blushes from made by mitchell because i just wasn't sure that it would suit my skin tone but yes look at that i am wearing a color similar to this on me today so that is a lovely colour and it will definitely show up and it doesn't look ashy. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. If you haven't tried the Made by Michelle um, blushes, you need to. They are really good. Next up, we have another Nude Sticks product in this in this box now. And this is the Eye Crayon. Um, it's an eye colour. It's a um, magnetic matte eye colour. I don't know what it means by magnetic. All right, but I am going to open it up and... If it's one thing that I will do a swatch of, it's this. Oh, that is a pretty colour, isn't it? That's a really pretty colour. I don't know why it's called mag ma magnetic, though. Magnetic, magnetic eye colour, matte eye colour. I don't know, it says it right there. Drop a comment down below if you know what that means. Next up, we have the Clinique All About Clean Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser Mousse. It looks like this. And I've never used a Clinique cleanser, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. Right, I know Clinique, um, people rave about Clinique, and I've never heard a horror story about Clinique. I just don't feel comfortable deviating from my own skincare because I have acne prone skin. But this box was a gift to me and I did say that I was going to try and use every product in the box. So, so far, the only two products I feel uncomfortable with in the box, to be completely honest with you, is these two so far. Next up, we have this. Um, what is this? Is this a... It says Flash Crayon. And it's Linda Hallberg. I have no idea and it's in the shade atria i have absolutely no idea what this is this has got to be like either an eyeliner or a lip liner it might say it on the box when i'm just not seeing it because i haven't got my glasses on but it looks like this i'm thinking this is an eyeliner and it's in blue that is stunning i have a blue lipstick right um i don't wear it often a mac one and i'm just thinking what would this look like around the lips and then putting on the blue lipstick uh, one of these days i want to try one of them out there eye looks and then put on like a bright blue lipstick not to go anywhere just for um a video next we have another hydra liner from um is it Suva Beauty? I do have one of these already in the gold colour. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing the brand name right. This colour is Doodle Matte. Let's open this up and have a look. Oh, it's a black and white liner. Yes, I don't have one like this. It's a split liner. Doesn't really have much of a smell. I have a small mini one. This is much bigger than the other one that I have and it's small and it's gold. Right, so, and this is matte, so love that. Next up, we have this, is it Lineage Radiant C Cream? It looks like this. I guess this is like a vitamin C cream. You can smell kind of like the orange in it. Let's put some down. It's very moisturizing it feels nice it feels nice but i know that my face does not like vitamin c so i will never put this on my face i could just use it as a normal moisturizer it smells really nice you can smell the citrusy orange in it 
and it is really moisturizing right here where i pull it my skin feels really smooth and soft oh that feels nice yeah i'm gonna definitely i'll probably just use it as a hand cream to be honest with you oh that's nice i like that next up we have this color fix foils and it's the brand it's dm it's waterproof liquid pigment eye lip and cheek and it's in the shade nebula oh look at that that's stunning and you can use this on your eye lip and cheek let's have a look oh it just all came pouring out look at that oh that is stunning look at that oh that is so pretty and a little bit goes a long way do you see that oh my gosh yes i'm loving that i love that the last thing in the box is super exciting this is the new beauty bay dark fantasy palette and i so wanted this palette right so taking the palette out it looks like this and then opening it up oh my gosh look at the color story in this look at them shimmers oh the only thing I could say about this, if I had to make a complaint, is it's going to be a real dark eye look, really dark, because this is like the only kind of, these two are kind of like the only light shades in the whole palette. Everything else is really dark. Um, yeah, so be prepared for a dark fantasy look coming up soon. This blue is absolutely stunning. Let's do one swatch. I can't help it. I've got to do at least one. Look at that. Oh, blue is really not my colour, but I love that. Right, let's do one more. Should we do this, like, virtual one? It's like a black. Look at, look at the glitter in that black. Let's put it there. Oh, look at that. That is really pretty. I can't wait to do a look with this. So, yeah, guys, this was the last thing in the um, Hall of Fame box. Right, guys, so just to quickly recap, we have the Beauty Bay palette. We have the um, makeup remover cloth. We have the Spectrum brush, um, the matte eye, um, crayon eyeshadow from Mood Sticks. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my hand there. We have the liquid gold colour that you can use on your eyes, lips and cheek. We have the hair oil. We have the blush. We have the face cream. We have the facial cleanser by Clinique. We have the lip injection. We have, right, the lash brag. Is it lash brag? Yep. And then we have the eyeliner. We have the split hydro liner we have the sharpener we have the um exfoliating cloth we have the makeup brush cleaner right we have the cleansing balm we have the beauty sponge by coco cosmetics we have the bag now out of everything apart from the facial cream i said i'm going to use on my hands because it really did make my hands feel really good these are the only two products that i'm kind of skeptical with using i am going to give this a go um i've heard good things about this so i am going to give this a go please feel free to drop your comments down below i love these two boxes and i think it's great value for money 228 pounds for 60 pounds and then 130 whatever it was for the party box and it cost 40 pounds i think they're great value right and not forgetting the beauty bay bag on top right really good i cannot wait to use some of these products guys i'm really super excited um like i said before please feel please feel free to drop your comments down below what you thought of these um beauty boxes by beauty bay and if you've picked any of them up you made it this far into the video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate each and every one of you and um before you all click off please if i could ask you to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so and then click on the little notification bell beside it and then click all so you never miss another upload from me and while you're down there if i could ask you to please hit the thumbs up button it really does help me on my channel out and i really do appreciate it guys right until next time, have a beautifully blessed day and I see you all again soon. Bye for now.